it's not that I'm not into you, okay? It's just that I am in no mood for a local engagement right now. Come on, babe. You call this a local engagement? Not. Take a look at this. I got you a golden ring. A what? Yeah. Check it out. This is gold? Pure gold. No kidding. Solid gold. <laughs> yeah. I love gold! <laughs> oh, sorry. Put it, put it in my finger, yes. Is, is, is it I'll marry you, yes! <laughs> oh, look at my gold! Oh, I love you, baby! I love you! I, I love you more. I love you more, baby. Oh my god! You know, I can't wait to share this news with my mom. Who, by the way, is in the hospital as I speak. Yeah, she's sick. And I, I, I should be on my way to go see her. Oh, but not to worry. Soon as I'm done with mommy in the hospital, I'll link up with you so we'll celebrate this goal. Celebrate the engagement. <laughs> I meant to say. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll call love. you. Okay, I'll call you. I have to run along now. Ready. Because me, I get gold to sell now. Better gold. Why they talk like this now? You don't know who they talk again for phone. I said I get serious business. Pure gold. Nothing but gold. I they come. Just wait for me. No, come up for your shop. Oh. I they come now, now, now. I don't sell the ring. No, 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 I don't sell the ring. Straight up. Ah, baby, you said. What if that guy pull money take by that ring? Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. What do you concern me if he borrowed money or sold his father's land to buy this ring? What do you concern me before uncle? You know, no, say sugar size. Oh. You know, no, no, I I don't tell her, I don't show him. <laughs> me and you, no, say that guy no get one. You still go carry a ring, go say. Okay. If you can ask you of the ring, what thing you go tell her? Ah, that's a smart thing. I was gonna say, as I went to poo in the toilet, I was washing my butt. But then, the ring suddenly slipped on my finger. I entered into the water closet. And then I pressed the flush button and <laughs> everything went down the drain. Damn. Hey. Mm. But that you can't. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I beg you. Now what if it's this guy? He no no say she get ties. He look babe like me finish. He be like say he go be me and him. I beg, I beg. She get size, my sister. She get size. I'm oh. not his match. Oh goodness. I'm back. Don't make me time on it. Hey, mommy. My daughter. Uh, Guess what? How did it go? You won't believe this. I made an A of my project. Oh my <laughs> God. Let me see. Congrats. Hey, thank you, mommy. Goodness, this is good. Wow! I'm so proud of I you. Know. Ah. 
This is nice. Thank you, mother. What is going on here? Hey, sis. Hello. Your sister made an A in her project defense. No kidding. Is that right? Yes, sis. Look at that! Oh my god, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> Give me a high five! <laughs> oh my god! I met an unarguable A. Unarguable? Yes, sir. Ah, this is good. You know what this goes for celebration? Yes, it does. What uh, are we having? Um, tell me. I don't know about fish. Yes! Okay, so I'll okay. sponsor it. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations, you, my dad. Oh, we're Thank proud you. of you, baby. Yes. Let's go inside and get cracking right. with the celebration. No, go just go. <laughs> I'll transfer money to your account to get it. Thank you. Yes. Oh my god, that's great. That's great. Enjoyment woman. The woman that gets beautiful as she ages. Hmm. Only you're so fine. I know. My sweet mother. What is it? Um, mommy, hi. <laughs> What's this? A gift. Go ahead and open it. From who? From me, of course. Oh. Oh. From you. Oh. You love it. Mm. I, hope so. I hope you'll surprise me this time. Go on, open it. What's this? A bracelet. For you. What kind of cheap bracelet is this? What's this? You didn't see gold? You didn't see diamonds? What's this? GL? Listen, listen, listen. I hate cheap things. You want to gift me? Get me something classy. If you don't have money to buy something classy, please save your money. Whenever your money is um, enough to get me something, Ask your sister, because she seems to know the kind of things I love. Take this rubbish out of here. <sighs> Mommy, why do you always do this? First of all, you know I do not work. I don't have a job. Yet I try from the little I can to get you gifts. And all you do is, you either compare with Stafiona's gifts or you're calling them cheap. Mommy, why? Regina, I do not want to get upset. You do not have money, save your money. At least appreciate the little I give to you. I cannot appreciate cheap things. Take this rubbish out of here. Just take it away. Come here. Come, come back. You know the truth is bitter. But come on now. What's this? Lasting for long. I know. Yep. Uh -uh. What is going on here? Come and see you. Come and see you. What, what is it? 
This girl is spoiling me with very expensive gifts. <laughs> 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 you deserve it. You deserve what is it with very expensive? <laughs> they are now. Fiona. They are. I don't even know how to open this one. How to? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> This does look very expensive. Fiona, yeah. where do you get money to buy all this? What kind of question is that now? What kind of question is that? She has no source of income. She buys you all this kind of expensive, she has no source of income, and you don't see any reason to ask her where she's getting the money. Who says she does not have a source of income? Ask me. My daughter not only works, but she's also a boss lady. Sharon. A boss lady. <laughs> I love it! I love it! So, sister, what did you buy for that? I don't need her gift. Let her keep buying for her mother. Why do you think I want to waste my money buying her? I wonder. I like one that I appreciate. Yes, yeah, so, oh my goodness. Mama, can you tell me what I I just want to have a word with you. Okay, it's it's everything all right? Everything is fine. Uh, but it is said that a good advice is second mother to a child. So consider this a piece of good advice from a beloved father to a beloved daughter. Because I might not have the time to say this to you again until I'm gone. Um, Daddy, I am not sure whatever it is you want to say, but you're making me kind of uncomfortable. You don't have to panic, my daughter, okay? You see, one thing in life is that whatever we allow to be stuffed into our belief system becomes our belief. And um, you see, I'm sure you are aware that the good quality of life is not only depending on the amount of wealth or riches you have acquired, but what you leave behind when you are gone. Um, Dad, I have heard these words before. But I can't understand how it's sum up here. You are right. You see, your mother has so taught your elder sister that life is all about living a wasteful and lavish life. Yeah. Well, Dad, I am not trying to to contradict what you're saying, but I feel like Sister Fiona is just living her life. If she's she's able to to afford anything she wants, she has the means and I don't see anything wrong with that. Why I am telling you this is that a day will come when she will choose her over you. Because you are not doing what she's doing. She wouldn't care whether you have the means or not. Mommy will never do that. My David, remember this. If you are faced with such predicament, be yourself. Don't allow her pressure you into doing what is beyond your capacity. Um, don't you think you should be saying this to Fiona? Fiona, don't listen to me. She does. You had always been a good girl. And 
don't let your mother or your elder sister push you into being otherwise, whether I'm here or not. I won't let you down. sense to me at that time. Right now it makes sense to me. This makes a lot of sense to me. I think this time around you should do the work. Oh, I should do the work. Yes. I should do the work. Yes. I should do the work. <laughs> yeah, I go. Oh, Wait, what are you doing? supposed to be in the office. Your lunch meal. I thought you were supposed to be. Oh, Mr. Tortoise, you taught. You're very shameless. continuously call me and bug my line, then I might as well return that cheap ass ring of yours. Hey Fiona, I needed to look at this. You had a fight or something? What happened at lunch? You weren't like this when you left. I'm fine, sir. All right. Look at those documents and let me know what you think. I need your feedback in exactly five minutes. I'll be in my office. all this nonsense. How dare you? After I gave you my body, you still have the nerves to go hopping from one pants to the other. 
I demand an apology. Right this minute. And also, you must stop that nasty habit of yours. So on what grounds? What? On what grounds? On what grounds am I supposed to apologize to you? See, the last time I checked, we are not married. But we had sex over and over again. Oh, every adult has sex. And I don't see a big deal in it, okay? Are you kidding me right now or are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> see, um, yeah. I had a long ride with this lady and man, she was just like a machine. She took me on a long ride. And I'm exhausted. Maybe you can use the door. You sick bastard! Hello, my daughter. So you went for your NYSC and forgot about us. By everyone, I guess you mean your father that died three years ago, your older sister, I don't get it. Well, I'm fine. Your sister is taking very good care of me, as always. What did you say? Fiona! Oh, my daughter. My precious daughter. My daughter. My favorite daughter. My pride. The daughter in whom I am well pleased. A daughter no one can equate. What is it? Mom, I want to be left alone. Why? It's not the right time to discuss anything with you. Why? I don't understand. I'm not in the right frame of mind to discuss my problems with you. You know you can actually talk to me. Hmm? Tell me. Leave me alone. Mom, leave me alone. It's not hard to ask. Eh? It's not a big deal. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey dear, um, I'm sorry to come off a little needy of your attention, but please, can I have the sake of your time? What? Look, I'm sorry for what happened the other day. Mm. Like, I'm deeply sorry. I am just sincere. Listen, Larry. I'm supposed to punish you ruthlessly for attempting to lay your filthy hands on me. Know this. Beware. Stop. And be warned. Oh, oh, stop it, yeah? I already apologized. I'm deeply sorry about it. Oh, okay. So, how do I make amends? Go fuck yourself. Let's make the toast to a wonderful boss. He's accommodating, he's caring, 
Yes, he's wonderful and undisputably handsome. <laughs> and also, I would like us to make a toast to long life, Amen. prosperity, Amen. Amen. good life, Amen. Amen. and most importantly, in anticipation of a wonderful wife. <laughs> oh, yes. Amen. Cheers. 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 Enjoy yourself. Cheers. Yeah. Happy birthday, boss. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Boss. You said goodbye to everybody. Now it's time to say goodbye to me. Ah, uh, no. Are you leaving? Yeah. Yeah. I have to go. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here we go. Holy shit, it's past 12 minutes. It's 12 what? in the morning. Oh. Damn. Uh, okay. I, I have to go. Go? Yeah. Don't you think it's too late to go? Well, I don't have lion in my guest room. Oh, I guess you're scared. Oh, okay. Okay, I hear you. Okay, you look like you could use a hand. Let me take you. Mm. Which side? Ah. Then I'll go. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. I think I have to. Up. Put you in bed. No, no, I think you've had enough. You've had enough. I'll put you in bed and I'll leave. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Let me put this here. I'm ready. I'm very, very ready. Okay, okay let's go. Hold on, hold on. I've always wanted to ask you this question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. I know you have been frolicking with Larry at the office. What? <laughs> Please. Larry and I are just friends. Same way I'm friends with every other person at the workplace. Yeah, I know, I know. But <laughs> you forgot, so soon it's my company and I've got eyes on everyone in that office like a CCTV. Good. Is that right? Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. This way. It's <laughs> okay. Between you and I. Wow, oh, boss, you need to relax, okay? We, we, we. You look relaxed, like you scripted all this. Yeah. Boss, how can you even say that when it was you who practically? begged and lured me here. What? I dragged you to, into my room? On bended knees you did. Holy goodness. Ah! <sighs> uh, this, this, this is actually a bad dream. If anything happened, please, I am so sorry. Mm. Please. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, things did happen. All night long it happened. <laughs> I knew you were under the influence, but you rock nonetheless. I absolutely kind of enjoyed it. Um, see, um, I am so sorry if um, I took advantage of you in any way. Oh, please. I know when I'm being raped, and last night, <laughs> last night was not one of the times. Uh, are you saying that you... you I'm saying it was mutual. Uh, Fiona, I, I, I am really sorry. Mm. I'm really sorry about anything that happened. Of course, I, I know something happened, but yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Something happened. <laughs> oh, boss. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So everyone left Mr. Jerry's apartment last night. You decided to make yourself his personal bodyguard. Hope your mission was accomplished. Please. Get out of my way. The last time I checked, I was on your way. Take on the contract. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, thank you. you know, much. I'm still wondering why you insisted that I pen my signature on this. I thought that as the managing director and the CEO of the company, that your signature is final authority. You know you are the legal advisor of this company. Right. And it will be undutiful of us signing any papers without your knowledge and approval. Right. Excuse me, sir. Ah, one minute. I sincerely want to apologize about what happened last night. You know, I am not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Okay. Excuse me now. Bye. Mommy, what kind of salutation is that? I miss you now. Eh? I miss you. I miss you too, Mama. Hi. <laughs> I hope you got me classy gifts. Eh? Mommy, I was serving my fatherland. And collecting money from the federal government. Oh. Did you not? See, when your sister ended her service here, she Mommy, bought... Please. For goodness sake, I just came back. Jesus Christ! Reggie! Hmm? Reggie, Reggie. Mama. Hmm? Don't tell me you didn't like the gifts I brought back. Ah, ah. Must life be all about gifts? Huh? Hmm. Okay. Um, so what is it this time around? You remember that man your sister brought back from service? Yes. If not that he is a prostitute man. Ah. You know your sister would have been married by now. Well, um, Mama, I, I don't think I follow. 
Why are you not following? Am I speaking Swahili? Is it not English I'm speaking? Amma, you're speaking English. What I'm trying to say is, I've been listening to you, but I still cannot make out sense from what you're, you're trying to say. In other words, I'm blabbing. I'm not making any sense. Huh? Wait, Mama. Jelly, ah, wait. Is this about me? Bringing back a man from youth service? Mm -hmm. It better not be you. What is wrong with it? No, 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 no. What is wrong with bringing a man back home? A rich man, for that matter. Ah, again. What is wrong with it? Look, Mama, I am not ready to have this conversation with you now. Not tomorrow, anytime soon. I beg. Come on, just go back and listen. Did I catch a man from this guy? Hey. What is wrong with that one? Hello, sir. You didn't go for lunch? No. I thought you did. No, I didn't. I'm not hungry. I can manage when I get home. Oh my God, you work really hard. I admire that about you. Really? Yes. Well, I am only doing my job. Besides, if I don't do it, who is going to do it for me? I know, right? And I wouldn't want to burden you guys with the chunks of my <laughs> own neglected responsibility. Right. You should be at lunch. What are you doing here? Well, I was hoping I could hang out with you. Like, we go for lunch together? Uh-huh. <laughs> also, after lunch, maybe I could come over to your place and spend the weekend like the last time. Remember? Fiona, Fiona. Why is it? You know. That will never happen. Why not? I mean, you and I have had a... Already had a one-night stand. Of course, I know that. A one-night stand? Is that what you refer the beautiful moment we had as? Fiona. I am sorry to bruise your ego, but I think you should snap out of this fantasy of yours because whatever you're planning to do, it will never work. It's not going to happen between both of us, okay? So, <clears throat> I advise you get back to work. apologize for what happened earlier at your office. No, 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 it's okay. It's all right. Okay. Um, also, I noticed I haven't been seeing your PA around you. Did she travel or something? Oh, Vivian? Yes. Uh, she's no longer with us. She's not? Yeah. Oh my God, you fired her? No. What did she do? <laughs> her husband got a double promotion. Oh. Yeah, so his work required them to relocate into Abuja. She had to join her husband. How come I'm the last to hear this? Actually, you are the first. <laughs> Didn't you notice how um, the chunk on my decks has sufficiently increased? Right. Yeah, that's the reason. Which brings me to ask, don't you need another PA? <sighs> right now, I don't think like I need one. Oh, sir, you and I know you do. In that case, tomorrow morning, I think you should put out notice outside the office. Maybe any nice person could. Comes looking for job. Okay. All right? Okay, sir. All right. I'll be seeing you. Have a good evening. All right. you bye, too. bye bye.
This food is very delicious. Really? By the way, why is my daughter not here? Why is she not on the table? Why is she not eating? Your daughter is seated like you're eating with you. Ah, not you. What is going on here? Oh my darling. Mama? Stanley E. Ooh, look who is ready to scavenge the labor market. Take my day. Okay. I'll oh just show you. Hi, sis. Hello, look who is ready to scavenge the labor market. You know, Reggie, it still feels like yesterday when you left this house to go be a big girl all by yourself. And now look what we have. Voila, a graduate. Okay. Oh. Here you go, mommy. Oh, no, 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 for you. Mommy, let me go and get something else to eat. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, sis, I'm, um, I'm looking for a job, um, a very good paying job. What do you mean a good paying job? My first class. I cannot settle for anything less. <laughs> Baby, I had first class too. And guess what? It did not guarantee a good paying job at first. It did, however, pave the way, I have to admit. Well, if it's gonna lead me to my dream job, I, I can manage, I don't mind. Mm. Notice, first class or not, the labor market is highly competitive and nepotic too. Well, that is why I have a sister who works mm -hmm. as a legal advisor to one of the biggest real estate companies in Nigeria. You got that right, girl. So do I have to worry? Because mm -mm. <laughs> I got you. I know, sis. Oh, wow. Hello, sir. Hi. I see. So I have a contribution to make regarding the topic we discussed yesterday at the close of work. Please remind me. It's about the position of the personal assistant. I may have someone who can fill the slot. Who could the person be? My sister, my immediate younger sister. She's very intelligent and she just recently returned from a national service. The inference of that is that she has no working experience. Yes, unfortunately so. But I guarantee you she will deliver to the fullest. The person in question is your family member. How am I sure you are not covering for her to make me believe she is competent enough for the job? She's quite competent. This looks like a well rehearsed pitch. No, it's no pitch. I just know that she'll be fit for the job, if given the opportunity, sir. Aside the fact that the person in question is your blood sister, I mean your younger sister, what is your evaluation of her? Competence. You know, this is an organization and we need the best. I mean, the very best. Well, invite her over for the interview and we'll pick up from there. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I'll take my leave now.
Welcome mm -hmm. back. Thank you, mommy. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Where is Regina? In her room. Oh. <laughs> They're so happy. Why are you smiling? <laughs> That's because I have news, mommy. Really? Yep. Okay. Let's wait for it. Okay, here she comes. Well, I think I know. It's obvious you've been promoted. Really? And how the hell did she come up with that clue? Uh -uh. Am I wrong? You're obviously wrong, girl. Shut up. Okay, tell us. What's the good news? Mommy? Mm -hmm. I think Reggie has a job in our company. <laughs> I mean, I'm not empathically speaking, but it does look like it. Oh, oh my sister, thank you! Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, mommy! Oh, congratulations, then. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Take! I know thank you replaced you. it. Well, <laughs> congrats. Thank you so much. Hello. Mm -hmm. Larry, whatever I choose to do with my life is none of your business. Stop pestering me! So, I demanding to know about your sudden and unusual fantasizing with Jerry is not pestering hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. I will not have you speak about him in that manner. Put some respect on his name. Respect about what? Respect about you frolicking with him for over a year now. Or you think I don't know? The other night at his place, on his birthday. I hope I didn't tell them. No, sir. No. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Ignore him. You know what he can get like. You guys can. Such a thing. Wait, guys. I meant. I know what you meant, but he and I are not like that. Well, that's none of my business. I want you to look into this fire and tell me what you think. Ah, that reminds me. About your sister, she is outstanding. Just like you said, very hardworking. And I like her. <laughs> when I told you to grab that guy with your full chest, you were busy loafing around with that idiot called Larry. <laughs> Tell me, what did you even see in that ugly dude? Larry's not ugly. So why have you suddenly find him unattractive? I already told you what Larry's deal is. He's such a dog. I mean, he keeps hopping from one woman to another. Are you saying this because you dislike him now? No. Well, I told you about the episode the last time. So tell me. What is the difficulty in you getting Jerry? Jerry? Jerry is way too disciplined for my liking. He's so stuck up in his shell. Either that, or he's way too into his job. I mean, it's so hard for him to notice me. Okay, no problem. Can you just give me a moment with him and see me change the whole narrative? What? No, 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 no. Not you. Madam Buko, not you. No, Nehi. <laughs> Nehi, not you. Come, oh, babe. What? You're beginning to fall for this guy. Oh, oh yes, I am. Mean, I'm falling for him. I love him. I love Jerry deeply. Mm -hmm. You know. Nothing would give me greater joy than being his wife. Look at who is finally talking about marriage. Oh yes, 
Fiona. You. Yes. You please. won't marry. Before, Uncle, you know you <laughs> marry. <laughs> Look at us, we're not getting any younger. Oh, you don't want to settle down? Settle waiting. Was I squatting before? <laughs> hey, babe, babe, you see this your emotion. I don't want to hear that you're not coming to the club with me ah, no, tonight. I'm there already. If it's for that one, I'm still there with uh -huh. you. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be there. A girl has to unwind. Where's my girl? <laughs> So, uh, like this now, you're starting work on Monday. Hmm. Yes, Mama. <laughs> Mama, I am so happy. Like, finally, I have gotten a job for myself. Hey, <laughs> like play, like play. Oh. <laughs> you know, Mama, the MD was so impressed with my interview. He even wanted me to start today, but I didn't accept because I'm not ready. Why now? You should have started. I already went for the interview. I didn't go to start today. This is great news. Your sister will be so proud of you. Yes, Mama. But the boss insisted that he will tell her by himself. Okay, okay. You owe her a very big thank you. I know, Mama. I know. <laughs> I'm so happy. Honestly, this is great news. breakfast before you go. Mommy, I I wish I could, but I'm not. I'm really late. I have to be in the office right now. Workaholic. Is your sister not working in that same office? Mommy. But she's sleeping. Mommy, Fiona is a boss lady. 
So I can't compete with her. Want to go and show yourself? Mubana, go, go, go. Go and show them that you're a workaholic. I love you, mommy. Bye-bye. Return from the back. Um, a few hours ago. Oh, okay. Um, that reminds me. Before you do the final printing of the last document I gave to you, okay. make sure you send the soft copy to your sister. She may want to do one or two editing before we send the document to the client. All right, sir. I'll do that right away. All right, that's great. Okay. Um, come to think of it, do you ever take a break? Like, do you ever go for lunch? You are always on your desk. Well, sir, it is not my priority, but it serves later. Hmm. That's okay. Well, as for me, I am really famished. I need to go grab a lunch. I must say I really admire your commitment to work. You are indeed hardworking. Thank you, Russ. It's, it's my pleasure. It's okay. Well done. Thank you. You may take your leave. Listen, babe. Your problem has been you over trusting people and paying less attention to important things. <laughs> Please, girl, give me a break. Let's not forget. It is my younger sister we're talking about here. And I am super glad that she's impressing people with her intelligence. I mean, to be honest, that is what I always wanted for her. I mean, she's really smart and it makes sense that people are swayed by her intelligence. What if she steals him from you? Excuse you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Fiona, open your eyes. My eyes are open. The way you always tell me about how Jerry recommends Regina's effort. Uh-huh. See what I'm saying? That girl, that girl go a shine you. Hello. <laughs> Excuse you. Who is going to a shine me? Reggie? My youngest sis kid sister, Reggie? I am telling you something and you are laughing, please. I have become an object of laughter, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry, but I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the fact that you don't know me, girl. Are you aware that I am legal advisor to that company? That means they cannot take decisions or do anything without my consent. I'm just saying that I, by all standards, I'm better. Than Richie. It would be foolishness for anyone to prefer her to me. Fiona, don't say I did not warn you. Oh, give me a break. Hmm. Oh, before I forget, mm -hmm. there is this guy I ran into yesterday mm -hmm. and I am messing with him today. Okay. I hope you're coming with me. I'm not supposed to say no to that. <laughs> you still here? Oh, this is... I didn't know this had so much work, but I'm almost done. Uh-uh. No, no. You are going to give it a rest, young lady. That's enough. Shut down. Tomorrow you continue. It's time to go. You said this the last time and I ended up waiting for two hours or more. Really? Yes. I'm almost done. Girl. What's even the matter with you? 
I mean, when Vivian worked here, she was always the first person to leave the office. But you, oh no, you want us to buy mattress so that you can buy here. You won't have 35 babies here. You mm -hmm. really like the job. Who is Vivian? Vivian is Jerry's former personal assistant. She moved to Abuja with her husband and then that was on account of the double promotion that she got. Let's go, let's go, gosh, let's go, uh, I just wanna that's, go. That's nice. Yeah. Let's go. Can I finish up? Do you realize you're the only one left in the entire office? Okay, since you know what to say, just, just go home, okay? Let me just hurry and finish up with this. I'll, I'll meet you at home, all right? I love you, take care. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, sir, can I help you with something? You are already on something. As a matter of fact, I like the way you work with your whole heart. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate I have watched you closely for quite some time and I must say I am proud of you. Thanks, boss. Join me for lunch. Um, sir, I, I would have loved to, but I still have a lot of work to do around here. Are you indirectly saying no to your boss? Ah, no, 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 sir. I, it's just that I need to finish up with this. Are you arguing with me? No, boss, I am not. Then halt. Let's go. Sir, I... I said... Okay, sir. Hey. Lunch. Boss. Me. Sir, the meeting with our first. Sir? Sir, are you in the bathroom? Hello? It's not on seat. How come I'm not in the note? So is the boss. Not on seat. Could this two be? Are they? <laughs> Don't try to play the dumb cat with me, baby. I see the MD likes you. Oh, that. Yes, that. What did you think I was referring to? How long has this been going on? Well, it's it's not what you think. It's not it's not what every every other person thinks. It's just... every other person. What in the world? Everyone knows and I'm the least person to know. Because it is nothing. I am your sister. Yeah. You should be telling me things. What's I going am. on? What's going on? Just meet Rich. Just meet me. You guys are going on lunch dates. What's the next thing? Going wedding gown shopping mm -hmm. or having a baby shower? What's going on with you two? Sis, you know I'll tell you there's something. It's Nothing. The moment we've all been waiting for is here. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
Permit me to make welcome the CEO and the MD of this great company to announce and present the award to the esteemed staff of the year. Permit me to welcome Mr. Jerry Lawson. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Without wasting <clears throat> much of our time, good virtue, they say, must be rewarded. This award goes to the most outstanding staff of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, join me to welcome Miss Regina Uso Davis. Congrats, come on. Congratulations. 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 I really appreciate it. Mission failed, Mr. MD. Please let me call it back. And what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> the stunt you pulled out there, that was to spite me, wasn't it? Now I want to ask, how dare you, sir? I feel like I did nothing to spite you. Regina has been the most hardworking staff in this country. So where is that coming from? It's coming from a place that knows you put up that charade to convince us that you're not sleeping with us. What? And you heard me. Deny it. Go ahead and deny it, Jerry. What? You heard me. Fiona, you and I know I am not one of those dudes who go around giving out killer sex. Mm. I will let you off the hook because of your past contributions to this company. Let this be the last time you walked into my presence to spew baseless allegation. Do you understand? Now get out of my office. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for what? For everything. Always going on lunch with me. Well, is that something to be thankful about? Yes, because I lack the exact words to express how I feel each time we go on lunch together. <laughs> it's, it's my pleasure, sir. Pleasure is mine. Um, sir, I, I have been giving thought to, to everything. About what? About this. You and I, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the right thing we are doing. <laughs> Regina, why do you want to spoil these beautiful feelings of ours at this point in time? Why? Sir, so my, my sister feels... Um, Sir, so you know what? Let's, let's... Call me Jerry. Okay. The thing is, my, my sister has been so kind to me for the last 15 years and I don't want anything to come between us. Not, not even this, this thing we are doing. Listen. People will always talk. What they say shouldn't bother you, okay? With time, they will come to adjust. Do you understand? Ah, enough of all this sister this and sister that. <sighs> Regina. Sir? I want you to be my wife. What? Please, marry me. Hi. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. 
and I am serious. Do you realize that aside being your elder sister, I am like your Lord and personal savior. I paved the way for you to be born. I'm older than you, goddammit. So now I ask you, why, Reggie, why do you want to bite the finger that gave you everything? Sister, that was never my intention. What would you have me do? I want you to stay away from him. Stay clear of him because he is a man that I have come to love long before you ever dreamt of showing up in that company. Do you understand? And what the hell is that on your finger? My engagement ring. I can see it's a ring, bloody hell. Who is it from? From him. I mean, Jerry. Jerry gave you a ring. And you took it? Why did you take a ring from him? Why? Sister, everything happened so fast. Re I return it. Return that stupid ring. And like I said earlier, stay the hell away from him. Because what he needs now is concentration. He needs to concentrate so he can focus on who it is he really loves and who it is deserves a ring from him. Because that person ought to be me and not you. I love him. You what? I will <laughs> slap you. I will, I will slap you mercilessly and flamboyantly. <laughs> You silly brat. I hope I made myself clear. Return this goddamn ring and stay away from Jerry. You understand? Get out. Get out, man! Just get out! Get out! And keep on walking! Get out! Look at you. Acting like you're better than me. How the hell did he give her a ring so fast? It's my fingers that deserve that ring. I deserve that ring. Precious daughter. She's not here. Who? Fiona, of course. Cool, come on. If you're looking for your favorite daughter, I'm sorry you got the wrong address. She's not here. What are you talking about? Well, I've um, come to discuss that proposal. You see, Fiona does not think that man is the right person for you. And um, for the fact that she knew the man before you, I think she's right. Okay? I said, let me tell you before it's too late. Fiona does not think he's the right man for me. Uh -huh. And you buy to it, mother. Why is it that when Fiona's interest is at stake, you always take sides with her? No, it's not as if I'm taking sides. The fact that she knew the man before you says a lot. She knows the man better than you think you do. Mom, Jerry proposed to me. I don't, I don't know how it happened because everything happened so fast. I accepted. Yes, I, mommy, I, 
I love him and I, I know fully well that he loves me too. So why can't we just be together? Besides, they, they, they are not even together. I, it, it's me he, he wants to, to, to be with. They are not dating. He proposed to you. Yes, mommy. And you accepted. Yes, mommy. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Mom. Hey, Mama. sit, sit, sit. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. Hey. Um, Mom. Mm? The bone of contention why I visit is to let you know that I am officially ready to proceed with the marriage right. Ah, that's wonderful. Thank that's you. wonderful. Um, from what you said, I can pick that you said um, you want to, you're now ready to meet her uncles for the traditional marriage rites. Exactly, Mama. And um, the white wedding as well. Oh, really? Okay. Um, the most important one for me is the traditional marriage because um, I've not been to the village in a very long while. And... This traditional marriage will bring me back home. I want my coming home, my homecoming, eh, to be shut down. I want it as a shutdown. Hmm? So I want it very colorful so that they will know that I am home. You understand? It's okay, Mama. Yes. Mama, uh, why are you like this? Babe, it's okay. Like what? Calm down, it's okay. Uh, no, Mama. like what? It's okay, babe. Mama, I've had you. Anything for you. God bless you, my son. So, um, the kind of lace I want, eh? You know those cord? You will not understand. You will just give me money. I'll go and shop for myself. I'll buy the kind of laces I want with the set of shoes and bags. Then with heavy gold jewelry to go with them. <laughs> You understand? They will know that I have arrived by the time I get there. Mama, My village people will be shocked. Do you realize this is my wedding? It's my daughter's wedding. Uh, <clears throat> it's okay, babe. Mama, hmm? I've had you. God bless you, my Tomorrow son. Tomorrow I will come and pick you so that we can go for shopping. Thank and you. And afterwards, I will give you extra cash to buy whatever you want, the gold, the jewelries, and ETC, okay? Thank you. I love the ETC part. <laughs> uh, I love it. Stop pushing him. He knows what he's doing. He's not mad. <laughs> now, God bless you. Uh, <laughs> ah, my village people will hear it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Do you still remember when I told you that your sister is going to eventually outshine you? Listen, I don't want to be bothered with Jerry and his relationship stories. No. But that is what is eventually happening right now. Listen, in as much as I still have feelings for Jerry, and wish that he and I spend our lives together as a couple. Regina, on the other hand, is my sister. And I want her, more than anything in the world, to be happy. And what guarantee do you have 
that that dog is not going to break your sister's heart. Men are snakes. I don't want you to see him as that disciplined man and allow him to use you and your sister. Fiona, open your eyes. What exactly do you want me to do? Open your eyes and use your head. Listen, I made up my mind already. I have decided to allow the two lovebirds enjoy their relationship. Mm? You know, the good thing happening to your sister right now is taking a toll on you. Hey, yeah. Uh, well, I don't even have any much thing to say. It's your curse. Deal with it. Try to. Your sister is not yet back. Yes, mommy. No, Fiona. My dear, your face is coming out now. Do it well, oh. Okay, mom. Mm. She's good. What took you so long? Because I know this is all a game. After you made it look as if someone was dying. <laughs> Tell me, why did you ask me to come here? Because my wife should be trying to reach me by now. Your wife to be, you mean? Why did you ask me to come here? I know dudes like you. I know you in particular can be very corny and shrewd. And so it makes sense that I give you a stern warning before you proceed to marry my sister. If you toy with my sister's emotions the way you toyed with mine, <laughs> nigga, a lot gonna happen to you. Did you lure me here to be threatened? Oh, baby, I lured you here to give you a warning, to get you to promise. Mm? And it has to be on my wedding day? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Look at you talking about your wedding day, because it's important to you, isn't it? But get this, my sister is twice as important, so if you mess with her, I'll mess you up big time. I will. <laughs> on God, I bloody will. Stop making it look as if you care about your sister because you and I know you don't care about her at all. Ah. For the record, I am going to take care of your sister explicitly, mm. wonderfully, way that you will become so jealous. And then we will find out if truly you care about your baby sis. Ah. <laughs> at least now I have promise that I want. You may now get out.
try call your sister. Fiona. Okay. Really? Have you tried calling? I mean, why not you try using your phone? I, I didn't even come downstairs hey. with my phone. Give me, she let me know. try. Hey. No, not today, not today. Hey. You have to. Hello. I'm here now. Hi. What's up? What's wrong? Something all right? You're not done. What's the matter? I, I, I can't reach Jerry. What's going on? Where have you been? I went out to get something. Where's your face glowing? I've been trying to reach Jerry, but I can't get to him. His lines are switched off. You've been calling him? Yes. Yes, I. I have tried several times. You know, I. I feel like something is not right. What? Girl, you need to shush. Nothing has gone wrong. Don't say it. Don't even think about it. I'll call you my mom. Where is it? Where is it? This is all. Relax. Yeah, hello. Oh. What are you doing sitting here all by yourself? You haven't even seen Jenny. Gina. What does it matter? I will get to see her after the wedding. Mm -hmm. But I've been here waiting for you for ages. Why? Why are you in the middle of nowhere, gallivanting with your old lover turned brother in law? Shush, girl. What is the matter with you? You keep talking like this, better not make your way to church. Because it sounds to me like you have a plan up your sleeves. <laughs> Oh goodness, are you kidding me? Like I don't know the way to the church or words. Don't worry. I'm not gonna tell anyone that both of you share the same man. Shut up. Shut up. Matters like this, we will discuss on a very good day. Not today. Okay. You know. Don't worry. You ready? We'll Let's talk go. about that later. Mm -hmm. I realize I've made a huge mistake in the past, but I think we can right the wrong. Um, who is the owner of this Shakespearean punchline? I, I came to tell you that I'm very sorry for everything I did in the past, mm -hmm. and to let you know that I can actually make amends. My friend, get out! Use the goddamn door! You came to make amends. If you wanted to apologize, you ought to have done so a long time ago.
<laughs> so how is mom? Mom is fine. You know her, ageless queen. She has refused to get old, that woman. Wow. Yo, mm -hmm. you are doing a good job. Yes, I am. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I'm famished. It's been a long journey down here, down to this place. Are you, are you, did you have food? Honey, you um, have something in the kitchen? You know, I have mean, some soup. Who's going to show me to my room? <laughs> <laughs> you see all these hot, hot laws. Your husband has been showering on you, showering on you, showering on you. Is it for real? Is it? How do you mean, is it for real? Ah. I mean, is he doing all that because I am around? Of <laughs> or is it for real? Of course not. My husband has been a good man from the very first day we came in contact. Mm. Yes. Didn't you see the car outside? He got that for me. He buys me literally everything I want. What? Yes. The car outside? Ah. He bought that just two weeks after he got the shopping complex for me. Really? Who knew? I mean, who knew Jerry could be that caring? My husband is not only caring. In fact, he's the sweetest and the most amazing human being I have come across my entire life. Oh. Hmm. Very sweet. Sister, mm -hmm. marriage is very sweet. Oh. I'm enjoying marriage. Can't you see? Look at me. Hey, you know what, sister? I think you should get married. You need a man. You need a man to love you. Yes. <sighs> Bloody hell. Now I have to find a way to deal with this mess. My husband bought me this. My husband bought me that. It's Jerry this. Jerry that. Rubbing it in my goddamn face as if I am unable to find a man of my own. I will not take this. No. There is no friggin' way I will have this go this way. I have to do something about it. <sighs> Lizzie, you were right. Right about what? You were right about everything. Calm down and talk to me. Fiona, please just calm down. this was going to happen. But you took me for a fool and trashed my advice with the garbage. Look at the mess you've gotten yourself into. Tell me, why did you even visit them in the first place? Ah, dear God. You need to hear her whine. Jerry bought me this. Oh, and Jerry bought the whole mall for me. Jerry won't stop doing nice stuff for me. You know, he booked the entire aircraft for me and then he made the world pause at my... What the hell is wrong with that girl? And then I keep asking myself, what's the point to all of this? 
Do you know why? She really did that to provoke your envy. And her plan really worked. Worked perfectly. So tell me, what are you going to do now? Man, with all those things that he keeps doing for her, he ought to be doing for me. Not her. See, you can't allow a child you stop what rightfully belongs to you. I don't know what your intentions are, but Fiona, you really have to do something. You really have to do something. Huh. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. Give me ideas. I don't know. You caused all this. You so you have to fix it. See, when you're done crying, my dear, think. <sighs> Listen, I have a date. And you better not sit here and think away your life. Your sister who did this to you is shedding no tears. See, I will see you when my guy lets me go. Okay? Smile now. Uh -uh. Let's not die, you. Smile, babe, now. See you later, baby. Fiona, why the long face? What's going on? Did you have a fight with your sister? What's going on? I blame myself. I blame myself for all of these. Now look at me. I don't understand. Maybe if you can talk to me, I might be of help. Tell me. Regime. Married. The man who was supposed to be my husband. Fiona. I thought we've been through this. Mommy, now I'm the loser for it. We've had this conversation like a hundred times. Are we not done with it? No. I thought we were done, but we're not done. We're not done. So, talk to me, talk to me. I don't know what we're going to do about it. But I do know that no child will smear mud in my nose. Mm -mm. It will happen. Oh, God. Please give this girl her own husband. I'm tired of this. Yourself. This wasn't why I brought you out here. I'm here to drink away my sorrows. I am sure by now you know that Jerry has no other reason settling for Regina than getting back at you. Mm -hmm. That dude made me feel like a scumbag. He said I was not his type. And clearly Regina is his type. And it's funny how he claims not to be into me, but then dude did not hesitate to have his way with me and then blamed it on the alcohol. <laughs> Jerry slept with you? Yeah. How 
come you're just telling me this now? Oopsie. It was supposed to be. Well, it um it was my personal secret, but I guess I just let the cat out of the bag. Wait. You were sleeping with Jerry and Larry at the same time. In the same office. Yeah. Girl, what can't you do? <laughs> I need something now. <laughs> Obviously, you need something. Mm -hmm. After consuming a lot of bottles of wine, a lot of alcohol, you need a man. <laughs> See why you're my friend, stupid bitch. High five. <laughs> you know me. I do need a man. I mean, I've had a lot of alcohol. So it makes sense that I come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whew. So, you know what time it is. It's time for booty call, booty call, booty call. <laughs> but first, who is the lucky bastard? Who is it going to be? No, not this one. This one. No, I can't. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, hi, it's me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Come off <up>, it. <laughs> yes. Oh, where am I? Where? Where? Where am I? <laughs> Sorry about that. I was trying to coordinate my senses. Um. Prestige bar. I'm at Prestige Hotel at the VIP bar lounge. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm here lounging with a friend of mine. And now I want you, also a friend of mine, to come lounge with me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you come in? Good boy, I'll be waiting for you. Guess who that is? <laughs> who <was> that? <laughs> Larry? Larry? I girl, I told you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I said. <laughs> But what does it matter? He's got a penis, doesn't he? <laughs> a girl's got to come. I said it before. <laughs> well, then I have to leave. No. Oh. Because I don't want him to come here and meet me here. Mm. All right? Yeah, you're right, girl. Just I have get to out. Go. Get out. Take good care of yourself. Yes. Love you. Where is the high five? Oh my Sorry. God. Sorry. <laughs> she don't want to party no more. <laughs> I'll party with Larry. It's going to be a great party. Larry, you better get over here. <laughs> Hey, I'm wishing for a 
Oh, what the fuck? Is this place spinning? Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. It's, it's not spinning, it's, it's, <laughs> it's me. It's me. I, I... Yeah, good boy. Now take me home. You're home, I guess. You're home. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Take it easy. Step at a time. Oh, my God, hold on. Step at a time. Take it easy. Take it easy. How many people are here? Take it easy. Can they see me? Take it easy. <laughs> The wrong question. The right question is what are we doing together in bed? I don't understand. I don't understand what are we doing in bed. Oh shit. I knew it, Larry. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were drunk. Oh, why do this again, Larry? Oh shit. You oh, took shit. advantage of me. You took advantage of me. That's what you did. I took advantage of yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. I was on my own and you told me you're Shut my, my door. Shut you're... up! Shut up! Use the goddamn door! I should be telling you to get out. This is my house. You're traveling and you didn't tell your mother? What? Who says I'm traveling, Mom? The luggage, I mean, the dressing. Oh. Oh. Uh, I know. How do I look? <laughs> Mommy, I am going away to spend two quality weeks with my sister in her house. What? Two whole weeks? Mm -hmm. Did you tell them you would be coming? No. Was this planned? Why would we plan it? It's a surprise. <laughs> Fiona. I don't want them to know, so there's no point calling them. I mean, if I call them to tell them I'm coming over, that ruins the element of surprise, don't you think? Things are no longer the way they used to be. The last time you went there, the story wasn't good. I wouldn't want history to repeat itself. Okay? Mommy, it's well over two months. I put it behind me. I'm over it. You two should get over it. I have forgiven her. That's what I'm trying to say. I've forgiven her and her husband for what they did to me. So, um, clean slate. Starting over with them. Look at your face. Your, s <laughs> your face is not having it. But listen, Mommy, I promise you, nothing bad will happen this time. Miss me much? Miss me much, Mommy. <laughs> I'll call you. Love you.
I still can't fathom why your sister would visit us without any prior notices. Babe, please. I am begging you to let it slide. Look, I can assure you it is not going to happen again. How are you sure it's not going to happen again? This is the second time your sister is exhibiting such act in less than um babe. Okay, you know what? I'll I'll go talk to her. It won't happen again, I promise. <laughs> Let us assume that it won't happen again. But did you see the big bag your sister came with? <laughs> like she wants to spend the rest of her life in this house. She's not going to live anymore. Come on, honey. <sighs> You're funny. <laughs> you think that is funny? Yes. You're laughing, right? Because you're funny. <laughs> Look, babe. I know she's not going to stay beyond the weekend. Like she did the last time. So you have nothing to worry about. My love. Yes, baby? When I talk, please listen to understand. I have this feeling that your sister is up to something. Excuse you? Come on, he hasn't gotten to that point of you as accusing her. I am not accusing your sister. But the truth is, if anything goes wrong, the blame will be on you, not me. Count me out. Blame on me? What did I do? Do you realize you're talking to the mother of your unborn kid? Your wife. The queen of your empire. You're talking to me like that. Okay. Let me see who cook for you today. Oh, come I'm talking on to now. your wife. <laughs> you want to blame me? Oh, come on. We're mm. just conversing. You know, each time you use those favorite lines of yours, remember. I am the mother of your unborn king. Am I not? Queens. Of course you are. So why do you want to blame me? I wasn't blaming you. I was just making your mind to be ready for whatever comes up. Okay? Remember it's my sister we're talking about here? I know. But you don't know your sister the way I do. Come on, I literally grew up with her. So why do you think I don't know her that much? Okay. It's all right. Time will tell. My darling, mm -hmm. don't worry. Hopefully, your sister will behave. I hope so. And if she doesn't, we'll kick her out. <laughs> <laughs> My mom? Is she, is she okay? What? Fire! My... I, hello? What are you doing here? 
where is my wife? She went grocery shopping. Did you forget? She ought to be back by now. Where's my phone? Looking for this? <gasps> what were you doing with my phone? Oh! My wife has been calling. Why did you put my phone on silent? Why? Relax. It's just you and I here. Please. My wife might walk in here any moment. I would appreciate it if you go to your room. Well, she won't be coming back soon. Because I picked one of the calls and she said she's going over to our mom's. She's going to see my mom. So you see? We're alone. It's not possible. She tells me everything before she does it. Why would she go to your mom's place without informing me? Let me tell you everything, too. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Kindly go to your room. Please stop it. Stop this, please. Stop this. You really want me to stop? Yes. Please, I'm begging you, just stop it. How's your husband? He's fine. The sister one. She, you're all fine. Mama, are you sure you're all right? Uh, I'm fine. Why? Hey. Someone called me that there was a fire accident here. So we had to rush here. Fire in this house? Yes. God forbid. There was no fire incident here. And we'll never be in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to You should stop picking strange numbers. Maybe it's those 419 people. It's their mothers that fire will kill in their houses. Mm. Ah. Mom, any number that is not registered on your phone, don't, don't pick it. Hey. Eh? Ha! You really, you really scared me. Oh, Mom. Hey. Stop picking them. Oh. Stop picking those numbers. Oh. Yes, Mama. Ah! How is work? Mama, work is fine. No? Hey, yeah. Uh, Why are people this funny? Eh? Yeah? 419 people. Don't mind them. Hey. Don't yeah, mind Mama, them. I'm yeah. happy you're, you're okay. I'm fine, oh, enjoying my wrestling. Oh, you're watching your TV. <laughs> you know, I love, I love wrestling. Ah. Hey. Mama. Hey. Whew. How is work? Work is fine. Uh, thank God, oh. Thank God. <sighs> This between you and I, it's never happened. Why do you get uncomfortable like this every time we have sex? Because I am a married man. Mm. And you wouldn't just respect that. Mm. But you enjoyed it, didn't you? I enjoyed nothing. Oh, please. Listen, Regina might walk in here anytime soon. And you know what that means? Mm -hmm. It means wow. <laughs> wow. I'm so scared right now. You think this is funny? That's please just one. leave. Did you hear me? Go to your room. Go to your room. No. No. no.
Now, wow. Kid sis, you just have to be careful. You have to be very careful next time because these are nothing but cheap blackmailers. Could be kidnappers, even. Be very careful with yourself out there, girl. Your audio says. You know, we are living in a tech driven world. It makes it easy to get anyone's contact. I was so shocked when I got home and saw mom on scratch and very healthy. Eh? Well, they know the kind of people that they can target at and succeed. I mean, if it were me, heaven knows I would be an easy meet for them. <laughs> oh God, they know. They know. Very careful. People are just funny, eh? best place for you to, to build a house here because the water is going to serve as connecting you to the other houses around you know water is case around that area yeah so this this particular point what runs from here down down it connects to all other houses around the area maybe they can come up with some you know hello hi sis, sis. two love birds Cute. What's up? I'm good. So, uh, young, young. I wanted to tell you that I'm leaving now. You're leaving? Yeah. Why? Where, where are you going? To my house. Of course. Where else will I be going? But I thought you were going to stay for like two weeks. <laughs> like you don't know me. Two weeks. I can't be here for two whole weeks. I was kidding when I said that. Oh. Like I gotta go now. So you're leaving right away now. Huh? You're going now. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh... I'm coming to meet you downstairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll drop you off. Of course. I'll be waiting for you downstairs. I'm gonna miss you. Don't be long. There we go. Yes! Thank God. She's finally living. That is my sister. Come on, babe. Your sister needs to inform us next time before coming to our house. I told her that I decided she's leaving, so there's no need. I think I should go and see her. Right, okay. Ah. <sighs> Gathered the whole family here because 
I want to tell you too that I am pregnant. <laughs> wow, that is great news. I know. <laughs> what is great news? Someone who is not married is pregnant. So, how? What do you mean, how? how? Mom, what do you mean, how? How do people get pregnant? Mom, um, ah. sis, I, I think Mommy is trying to ask who is responsible for your pregnancy. What, I look like Bubu the Fool now? I knew that's what she was implying. All right, so? So what? Look, 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 please, please and please. I didn't call you two so you can sit and question me. You're supposed to just sit and listen. Okay. Regina, Hello. let's just sit and listen. We are Here listening. There you go. So, Jerry. Jerry is responsible for my pregnancy. <laughs> Hold up, what? I, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Oh, hold on, hold on. When you said Jerry, did you mean my in-law? Mm-hmm. What? How? You trying to say you're pregnant for my husband? My husband, Nick. Mm. Did you hear your favorite daughter? Oof. Is this some kind of joke? No, mommy, no. It's, um, it's reality. Now run along, little girl. And go tell our husband that I'll be back soon. Goodness. Run along. Is this a joke? <laughs> you would wonder, but no, it's no joke. Congratulations are in order for me, don't you think, mommy? Say congratulations, baby girl. Say it. Say it. You know you want to. Come on. Mommy. I'm about to be a mother. I'm going to have a baby. Your grandbaby. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Babe. What did I ever do to you, Jerry? Why did you decide to bring this amount of shame and disgrace to me? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Deny it. Deny that you've not been sleeping with my sister. Uh, yeah. One, two, couple of times, but it, it was a mistake out of my own will. I, I, I tried to uh, avoid it, but... Jerry, you had the guts to do this to me. Really? I was willing to, to tell you. I, I tried to tell you. Tell me that you've been sleeping with my sister and I in the same house. Jerry. Just how more promiscuous can you be? Jerry, you detest me. You irritate me. Me. I hate you. I could. Do you know what? Stay away from me. No, 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 no. It hasn't gotten to that. It has gone beyond that. I have always been a fool to you. You cheat of a husband. Promiscuous man. 
Did you know she's pregnant? What? Pregnant? For, 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 for who? For me. Yes, she's pregnant for me. Because I've been the one sleeping with her. She's coming here. When she gets here, you can go ahead and ask her yourself. Shit. Babe. Babe. Fiona is pregnant? For who? who? Who is she pregnant for? Listen, there is absolutely nothing to be worried about. In fact, I believe this is the beginning of a milestone for you. Do you realize how far apart this would tear my family? It's not true. That is always the initial fear. But sooner or later, everyone will accept that. Even Regina will come living happily with the child. Please. Lizzie, you don't know how complicated this is. How complicated is it? Or maybe you're not telling me everything. What do you mean I'm not telling you everything? Look, girl, you need to be happy. Finally, you have something to need, Jerry, to yourself for the rest of your life. What do you mean? That reminds me. You won't believe what I heard. You hear too many things. I heard your Sammy has gotten married. Oh, please. That is still news, I mean. He got married like two weeks ago. If that was dead then, yeah. He should have waited now. He should have waited for me to marry his sick ass. Thank God he did not marry you. Sammy's life has been transformed. What do you mean? I heard the father of the girl is a former minister. I heard he is a billionaire. I heard that his father was so happy that the daughter finally decided to get married. God, don't bother Sammy bread, though. Yeah, Thank God, though. God has finally wiped away the tears you inflicted on Sammy for years. Enough. 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 Hey, babe. You're back. Yes. How did it go? Went well. Oh, that's nice. Let me know you're go fresh now. Tired. Hello, yeah. rich husband and kids. Sister, I have arrived. What? Don't give me that look. You know, at some point, I was going to come take my wife in position. What have you come to do here? Aren't you supposed to be with your newest wife? I am talking to you. And I expect you to answer me. What have you come to do here? anything less. Babe, I am so sorry. You are sorry. He's sorry.
You're sorry. Okay. You're sorry. What am I supposed to do? Forgive you and we move on like nothing happened? Because I'm a loving wife, I've been a caring wife, understanding wife, God-fearing wife. What have I not been to you? Of course, I've been a fool. I was an idiot. Because I loved you. You expect me to forget about everything like nothing happened. That is what you expect me to do. Because I've always done that. You know I don't blame you. No, I do not. It is my stupid self I blame. Do you know what? Jerry, just deal with this. myself into As you can see. So, what happened? Why? Babe. I got this. You got what? Exactly. Move over and let him get it himself. Like a man. Jerry. Tackle me like a man. Come on. What's that? What's that fire burning in your eyes? Are you trying to plot on how to kill me, both of you? Are you going to charge at me or not? Do you know that's not true? No, what isn't? My husband and I left for the mall. You were still in your room. Uh -huh. Now, on coming back, you're in here with your things. It's because, darling, this is my rightful room. I belong here. And don't you dare try to question me. You know I'm older than you with three whole years. I know that. Mm -hmm. And I respect you a lot. So why don't you give me the same respect I give you as my sister? You know I'm carrying his baby. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who is carrying a baby. His baby. And so, I want to know, between you and I, who is not pregnant, by the way, who deserves to stay in the better room? Fiona, why No, I'm listening. This? Answer me. What have I done to you? stay all by herself in this room. We can go manage any of the other rooms. Okay? Ah, you wish in your goddamn dreams. You're not going anywhere. You, my darling, will stay here with me in this room. Didn't the Bible say that husbands and wives must stay together in the same room? Who made you to? If I wife? get honey in the middle of the night, who's going to touch me? Who made you and I husband and wife? God did, baby. Which God? Do you know you can have this room? Oh, really? Let's go. 
just got to be like, my what? husband be a what? Leave me alone. You know I respect you so much, so respect yourself. Leave my shirt. Sister, I said leave me alone. You're going nowhere, Jerry. You're staying here with me. I'm trying to stop this, stop this madness. Baby, come to me. I said Let leave my me husband alone. Be. Get what? your hands off me. I won't. Get your hands off me. No, baby. No. I'm warning you. No. I'm warning you. No. Come on. Respect yourself. Come to me. You know you're pregnant. Respect yourself. Get your hands off me. I won't. My home is in crisis. Who would have thought that my own blood sister could want to wreck my marriage? Your father told me this a long time ago. That the way I'm going about you and Fiona would one day make you sisters between. That I should try and treat both of you equally, love you equally. If not, that there will be a problem at the long run. It's coming into play now. My sister is pregnant for my husband. And she's seeing me like the enemy within. Your sister has always wanted what you have. Mama, what do I have? I have always had nothing. She has always had everything. She had everything to give you. I gave you nothing. Because I didn't have. Mama, tell me. What should I do? Because in as much as I am mad, I am broken and I am in pain. I still love Fiona. And I don't want to hurt her. So, you prefer your sister to your husband? Mama, I love both of them. But I still want my sister to be happy. Fiona. Desperate daughter of mine. The only thing that will make your sister to be happy is if you leave your husband for her. What? How can you say that? Then be in control of your home. That's where my wife sits every day we go to work together. Oh, yes. You know, that's the thing with you filthy rich people. You guys are so stuck up. You're like a bloody stereotype. I mean, haven't you heard that variety is the spice of life? I mean, today I sit in front. Tomorrow we interchange. Life goes on. Everyone is happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kids. You know what I'm talking about. Tell your husband, okay? He doesn't have to be so stuck up. Open the door, babe. It's fine. I'll sit at the back. Out of girl. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, hey, open the door. Open the door. Thank you.
Baby. Going for lunch? Not yet. I have a few things to tidy up in my office. Where is Fiona? She's not on desk. Fiona leaves this office every day before closing time. She normally closes herself before 12 noon. What? Who authorized that? Isn't she the attorney general of this company? Does she need permission from anyone? She knows she won't stay at work. Yet, she struggles for space to come to the office. Well, I do not have a response to that question. After all, all this wouldn't have been happening if you... Anyways, um, what's the use? I will be having a meeting a few minutes from now. I will be needing that file I ask you to bring to her office. Oh my God, Regina. I... I... I totally forgot. You know, I... 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 Oh, I need this file. I need it. I will be using it in the upcoming meeting. Don't you understand? <sighs> okay. I will have the meeting rescheduled. No problem. Have you forgotten we are expecting the external auditors today? If you don't worry, I'll go get the file for you. Ah, that's true. <laughs> will it be convenient for you? Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's okay. I'll, I'll go get it for you. You sure? Yeah, I'm it's all right, I'll be in my office. All right, let's do it now. Babe, I'm at home. I came home to rest. I need some sleep, I beg. Hmm? It's easy to get belly. Let the rich kids be at work. I'm home. This is your pregnancy. Those ones. Then there now. Come, baby girl. Are you alone? Because I get G's for you. G's that I've been itching to tell you since. So, <laughs> so my best friend is not hiding things from me now. Eh? Oh. You don't know what I want to tell you now. Oh yeah, now say it. Eh? Go ahead and disgrace yourself. Hmm. This G's be like bomb. <laughs> Baby girl, actually, Jerry is not the one responsible for my pregnancy. <laughs> Larry is. Oh, sharp girl. I knew you were hiding something. I hope no one else is aware of this. Ah, nobody knows, though, and I intend to leave it that way. Although, Jerry is threatening me with a DNA test. But I'm not in any way swayed because whatever move he has up his sleeves, I'll be sure to beat him at his own game. Shop girl! You so, know me. So what are you going to do when the time comes? <clears throat> Baby girl, I am a woman of strategy. I have many good strategies lying in wait. I'll be sure to activate them when the time comes. I'm saving them for now, for the rainy day. That is my girl, that is my girl. <laughs> my daughter. You have to deal with this the wisest way possible. Mama, I don't care. If I have to handle this in the most foolish way ever. Why have you not been picking your husband's calls? He's been calling you for the past 30 minutes. He sent me to get some files for him and I don't want him to know I'm here. So I just had to snuck because I don't, I don't want to lie to him. 
So, what are you going to do about this? Relax, Mama. Because I know exactly how to handle this. Come in. What? Who died? Nobody died? Why do you sound as if there was such a bloody emergency? You had me racing over here like there was a corpse on the ground. I just sent something to your WhatsApp. You did? Hmm. After you're done listening to it, do not set those cheap feet of yours into my house again. <sighs> For any reason. Homebreaker. Get out. Out of my way. Check the other way, girl. She said she sent something to your WhatsApp. Listen to it. Wonder what she sent. So ashamed of you, Fiona. This is the height of shame. I'm just Did your mother listen to this? I had to rush to see her as soon as I was done recording the conversation. That is why I could neither return to the office nor get into the room. Wow. So you recorded this the moment you got home? Yes. Thank you for relieving us of this burden. Thank you. I love you, Jerry. Yes, I do. Look, I know you're not perfect. Neither am I. But that is what makes us humans. I am not going to judge you based on your imperfections. We all do make mistakes. I forgive you forgive you for everything. You are the best chapter of my love story. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Because I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I love you by back, baby. You know I do, right? Thank you for being the best husband in the whole wide world. And also for being a good father. Tom born baby. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm so happy. Ah, I feel relieved. 
love you. I love you.